Welcome back to my channel, slightly different location. This is my mother's kitchen. You're in the fruit bowl balanced on the bananas. Try not to jump up and down because she doesn't want them bruised. This is this week's cargo pork. And why am I doing it in my mother's kitchen? Well, nobody's more surprised about this than my mother, by the way. So I went to Easter Compton Car Boots this morning with Josh as usual. We went for breakfast and then I looked at my watch and I thought, I've got time to go to the Clifton Car Boot Sale. Mother coughing in the background. Got time to go to the Clifton Car Boot Sale. I won't go home in between because I haven't really got time for that. I'll go to Clifton, then I'll go on to Mum's next. So I'm due to come here at lunchtime anyway to pick Mum up, take her out for lunch. Clifton Car Boots are much smaller than I anticipated, so I've done much quicker. And I thought, well, I'll sit in the car and I'll do my haul. But it was, I don't know, it was weird in the car. There's not enough space to show you stuff. I thought, do you know what I'll do? I'll just go on ahead to Mum's and I'll do my whole video there. So I've surprised Mum by arriving two hours early, thrown her completely, told her it was one o'clock, blew her mind. I had to tell her it wasn't one o'clock after all. <laughs> and here I am in her kitchen doing my haul. That was a very long, convoluted explanation, wasn't it? Because of that sequence of events, it means that I haven't unpacked my haul. So we're going to get it randomly out of the thing. I know that the stuff in the top is my filler bag because I didn't do a filler bag of my own this week. I just chucked some stuff into Josh's and chucked him some money towards it because there wasn't enough stuff for us both to do a bag each. First up then in my filler bag, I think this is this is this is definitely this week's wild card. I think this is a weightlifting belt. I haven't actually looked it up and I can't look it up on my phone because you're on my phone. It's a brand called Tailor Made. And I've got a feeling it's something to do with weights. But I don't really, it's like braces. So I will look it up after this. And by the time one of you watches this and tells me what it is, hopefully I'll already know. But if you know anyway, do pop your answer in the comments below. It's always fun to share your knowledge. So that was in filler bag, so it cost me, I paid one pound for my, oh, I've knocked mum's marmalade over, bear with. I paid one pound for my filler bag contributions not I made a one pound contribution for my filler bag bit I paid a pound for all of this so I've got one two three four I've got six five items I've just carried mum's biscuits in I've got five items for a quid so that that belt cost me 20p this brother correctable film ribbon also cost me 20p I don't even know what it's for I think it's for a typewriter I don't know 100% it doesn't say on the back it says for use with AX 10, 20 and 30, but it does not tell me what AX 10, 20 and 30 are. I think it's a typewriter ribbon, but I'll find out when I Google it a bit more. I got this vintage Spong mixer. This is a prop of it. This is more vintage than any of the ones I've bought before. So I quite often buy the ones that are um, from around about the 70s or 80s and they have a rubber clamp on the bottom and you and this has got this is the kind that has a screw on. It has got discs. The discs are all here. They're all screwed on already to keep them together. And um, that was in filler bag for 20p. So one spawn meat grinder, meat mint. So I, I picked one of these up last week or the week before as well, but obviously, like I said, a more modern one. And then the last thing in my filler bag Quidsworth was this Memory Craft 6000 design book for computer sewing. It means no to me, but it has got patterns in it. And I thought, you know what, for the sake of filler bag, we will throw it in. Every sewing experience with your new memory craft will be one of enjoyment and sewing ease. Never before has a machine been so easy to use or so perfect in performance. The following pages will introduce you to a world of sewing made possible by refined computer technology found only on the memory craft. You'll discover endless creative possibilities as you explore the variety and beauty of memory craft sewing. So there we go. If you have a memory craft, it looks like that. And basically it's an embroidery machine, isn't it? Embroidery sewing machine. 20p. Last item. Did I just say that was my last item? It was a lie. This is my last item. And it is a nice little find. It's an Emma Bridgewater Mice at Play lunch tin thing. I've bought, I've bought these before. I've never seen this one, but I've had the dinosaurs one before. And I think I've had soldiers before. So. There we go. That was my quid from filler bag. And then Josh also was on the um, everything 50p or three for a pound table. He only found two and so I chucked in a Fitbit charge band, accessory band. I think it's sealed. Oh, it's sealed at one end. Bear with, bear with, bear with. It's actually brand new in its packet. So I don't know if anybody's still using a Fitbit. I don't know if a charge two band is, has any value. But it cost me now actually because I think Josh paid the pound. I don't think I gave him anything. 
Oops, a daisy. Okay, have you moved? Have you slipped down the bananas? Don't wriggle about on my mother's bananas. Okay, I paid two pounds for this. And I'm only gonna get the pillowcase out to show you. It is a single duvet cover. It is the Sue Hall Snatch. Um, unusually, it's got its care tag on the outside at the top. That's odd, isn't it? Hamilton, Hamilton Bride Limited. Hammer, 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 hammer. Somebody changed the record. Hamilton McBride Limited Sue Hall Designs Snatch. It is a single duvet cover with one pillowcase, and then there is also a matching, well, toning valance sheet. I don't know if the valance sheet would have come with it originally. Without finding the care label on that, I can't be sure. I don't really want to unfold it all. Either way, two quid for the lot. The duvet set has sold for up to £25. You are wiggling around all those bananas. I can see you. Stop it. I paid £2 for this Remington... Um, I don't know what this one's called. This is a Remington hair styler brush thing. So you've got blow dryer with styling brush and it has a couple of attachments as well. A bigger brush for bouncy and voluminous curls. Voluminous, not a word. And then the blow dryer bit as well. So no idea of the value of that, but it was two pounds and it was for the lady that I like to try to buy something from if I can, because she's very nice and she's there every week. She puts a lot of hard work in. 50p for this um, funny face pottery mug, I think. I think they're called ugly mugs. I think called, I've had, had the teapot a few weeks ago. I think they're called ugly mugs. 50p for that. Eight pound from Steve for the following bits. So for eight pound from Steve, I got two Wittard of Chelsea ceramic coasters, said she, and smashed them to smithereens. Japanese bento box. Now this has no, no value whatsoever. I bought it for the sheer novelty value. I don't even take a packed lunch anywhere. The last time I used a packed lunch was when I was in a bed. But I liked it. I keep seeing, if you've, if you've watched any of those bento videos, making my husband some lunch or whatever, then um, I keep seeing these and I think they're fun and entertaining. Maybe I'll use it to take food to bingo. Maybe I'll take a Japanese curry and rice to bingo with me and upset everybody around me when I open it. Maybe. Maybe I won't. But I liked it, and it was in with me, in with me eight quid. Also in with my eight quid was this Whiskers promotional cat bowl. It's covered in sellotape, but Timber actually needs to get the sellotape off it. But it came with the Whiskers promotional spoon, and I haven't seen that for a lot ever. Well, I don't think I've ever. I've had the bowls before. I don't think I've ever had the spoon that goes with it. It's all sellotape together. So I was intrigued that the spoon was there. That was in my eight quid. Also in my eight quid was this lord's home of cricket mug um, some of these are listed for about a tenner so nothing very thrilling there i've so run out of room on mum's table also with my eight quid was the babyliss pro nano 200 mini straighteners i love babyliss straighteners i might try these on this bit of hair this bit of hair is annoying me as you can probably tell by the fact that i keep messing with it so i might try these out in a minute on that and finally in the eight quid was this Aston Martin Greatest Hits book. Collector's edition. Every landmark Aston model from the oldest survivor to the modern generation. I know people buy Aston Martin related stuff. Whether anybody wants a collector's edition book. It originally retailed at eight pounds, apparently. So that was eight quid for all of that. I paid 250 for this Disney Parks Mini. Um, I don't know which Disney park it would have come from. I think it must have come from... I don't know. I don't know. I think that if you get it from Paris, I think they say Paris on them and this one doesn't. So maybe this is from one of the Florida parks. It needs a bit of a wet wipe. She's got a little bit of um, muck on the back now, a little bit of wet wipe over. But apart from that, she's in good condition. So she was 250 50p for Harry Potter Dobble. I like playing Dobble. I think we've got this one actually, but 50p for that and I tell a lie that was a pound. Pound for double and a pound for this. This is a nice little find. This is a Burt's Bees baby gift set 
Um, they sell for 24 99 $28.99. Mine's a little bit torn, so I won't get the full price on it, but it's still a nice find for a quid. Last couple from that retail are £1.50 for the pair. I've got a NatWest piggy money box. These don't go for a great deal. I thought it was going to be for this lady. Most of her stuff is 50p. This was, she'd already said 50p for this. And then when I picked this one, she went for 150 and I didn't argue. This is a Minton sandwich plate. And this one has sold for 12 to 15 already. This particular design. And I know I do know the price on the pig. I just know they're not worth a great deal. Let me put this away and I'll be back with you. Right. I'm back. I've managed not to pack and steal mum's biscuits in, although as you can see, it's probably worth a few quid. <laughs> we'll leave that. It doesn't sound like biscuits. One solitary malted milk in the bottom of there. I won't eat it. So the next lot then is from the Clifton car boot sale. And I didn't get a great deal from there. It's, I, it's not one that I would rush off to again. I've been a couple of times and every time I remember why I don't go, it is a lot of antiques traders rather than amateur car booters. And even the amateur car booters have high ideas about what they'd like to price their stuff at. Higher than I like to pay. But I did get a few bits. I paid 50p for a Looney Tunes Daffy Duck t-shirt. It's in quite nice condition, it needs a wash. Need to wash, but then you'd expect that, wouldn't you? But yeah, 50p for that. I paid one pound for this, and this is a real nostalgia buy. Every now and again, I do a nostalgia buy, as you know. I worked for Ann Summers for 10 years, um, doing parties and running a sales team. And I really enjoyed it, but these disappeared just before I joined the company. So every now and again, somebody would one of the other unit organisers or managers would find one of these in their loft from when they were prizes and they would whip them out and they'd do a, a raffle for it or, or, or whatever or, or, or give it as a prize, um, uh, as a sales incentive, you know, achieve this many sales and win this bag. And I never won one. And of course, like I said, they were very, very scarce because they, they, they'd been discontinued and they were in managers' lofts or gone altogether. Even when I was a manager, I didn't have one because they were gone by then. So when I saw this today, the lady only wanted a pound. I had to grab that. It's an Ann Summers. They were called corset bags. And basically, you, you couldn't buy them. They didn't sell them through Ann Summers. You couldn't buy them as a customer. You couldn't buy them. They were for organisers only. And organisers used them to take all of their books and paperwork and stuff to parties. And, of course, their raffle tickets. There's raffle tickets and a pair of tweezers in there, randomly. And, yeah, I always wanted one. Couldn't go. And I will sell this one. I won't be keeping this one. But it's probably a collector's item like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a pound from the same lady I paid three pound for these Clark's knee high boots they're in very nice condition except for the fact they've got a little bit of wear on each heel they're just very slightly worn down you can see where this lady walked over to she must have walked very slightly on the outside of her heels but apart from that they're in really nice condition I probably won't bother getting them rehealed because it's a tiny tiny amount it's not enough to even affect the wear of them really they were three pounds I paid 50p for this one. This is um, Sterntaler. Sterntaler. My mother's bought her blanket to show you. <laughs> Sterntaler comforter. 50p for that one. That's Mum's just finishing a new blanket. You're not quite done yet. No, you're not not still, no, not finishing. Halfway no, I'm going on and on and on with it. On and on and on until yeah. it covers the house. <laughs> well, until I've used up the blues and yeah. water. Yeah, it's looking good. It's better with the white, isn't it? Yeah, the white lifts it a bit. It got a bit oh, samey, hasn't it? Oh, it was just drab. I don't think it was drab. I quite like oh, the blue, but just... Yeah, I thought it was drab yeah. just on its own, but it's brightened it. It's hmm. so, very nice. Yeah, it's getting bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You could make two. You could make that one for the back, and then you could make two thin ones for the front and make it into a cloak, yeah. armholes, and, and wear it to church. Maybe here comes the crazy crochet lady. <laughs> I know we've talked about it before, but it is possible, isn't it? One for the front, one yeah. for the back, and it, yeah, even put sleeves in it. Yeah. yeah. We'll tr we'll try one of these days. You can make it for the vicar as vestments. <laughs> for, for Neil. He'd be thrilled with that, wouldn't he, dear Neil? <laughs> he doesn't even wear a dog collar, does he? No. 
So yeah, 50p for that one. I've no idea of the retail. He needs a bit of a wash. He's, a, he's, he's been loved. He's been loved. He needs a wash and a brush up. But I'll uh, look at the value. This is a Harley Davidson teddy bear comforter. Um, I've not seen one of these before. It was priced at two pounds. You wouldn't shift on the price. I don't know if it's got any value at all, but it was the novelty value that made me grab it. This one was 50p. This is a Doudou et Compagnie. Doudou et Compagnie uh, flat rabbit kind of thing. It'll have a name. The Doudou ones usually do. Mon tout petit. I don't know. I'll find out when I look, when I look it up. These were one pound each. However, one of them is sadly chipped. I did know that when I bought it. This is an Avoca Buttons mug. There we go. And then this one is, as you can see, obviously Emma Bridgewater, but it's got some quite unpleasant chips on the foot, on the foot of the mug. It's not chipped around the rim, which um, makes a difference to anyone who wants to drink from it. And also, you can display it on a shelf without the chips showing. Just after filming, I dropped it on Mum's floor, smashed it into bits. So hopefully it will still have some retail value, some resell value, but not very much, so it's a good job it's only a pound. Also one pound, these are the last couple of items, one pound for this Joe Brown's dress, just a summer strappy dress with um, a flounce, flounce hem, sort of skatery in shape I suppose, 50 style skater shape, I'm not sure what you, what, what you want to go with. That was a pound. And then, oh, there's two more items in this side. These were £2.50. The lady wanted four. I offered two. We settled on two fifty. She was a hard bargainer. They're Anne Weyburn or Amanda Weyburn? Anne Weyburn. Anne Weyburn wedge sandals. I do not know if they are an expensive brand, but I thought they were nice for summer. Nice for summer. Nice for summer. The lady, she, when she sold them to me, she said, oh, you've got a bargain there. So perhaps they are expensive new. And the very last thing in the bag, I paid £1 for a new collar for Molly because it's pink spots. I thought she might like a summer collar. So she's not with me today because I didn't go home in between coming to Mum's. Normally I bring her to Mum's, so she'd be very offended when she realises I'd been without her. But perhaps a new collar will sweeten the, um, the outrage a bit. That's it. That is the haul and oh, all of the haul. God, that's stiff. As the actress said to the bishop. That's the haul and all of the haul. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Sorry about the weirdness of being in mum's kitchen or whatever. And I'll see you next week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.